So today we're actually going to be talking about an Illinois man who has filed a lawsuit for discrimination because he was, as he said, wrongfully terminated from his job because he refused to cut off his dreadlocks. Now, there was a case that was very similar to this. Now, this happened in Texas. It was a black boy. He had dreadlocks. And they said, oh, well, you can't have the dreadlocks. He's like, I'm following the school's code. What's the problem? And then he was not able to be in school for months, it, it appeared. And then he ended up still not winning. Now, there's a thing called the Crown Act that I don't understand why. It's something that has, it seems like people pick and choose when they want to honor it but i am actually on the crown act website right now and it says we are ending hair discrimination the crown act which stands for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair okay and it says the crown act was created in 2019 by dove and the crown coalition in partnership with then state senator uh, Holly J. Mitchell of California to ensure protection against discrimination based on race-based hairstyles by extending statutory protection to hair texture and protective styles such as braids, locks, twists, and knots in the workplace as well as public schools. Okay, so the same kind of thing. All right, so with that being said, you're supposed to protect me from discrimination locks braids twists knots all the other stuff okay um and i'm sure even what i got going on over here all right so it's very odd that this man is being discriminated against still when you have an act in place because what happened in texas they were like ah i mean but your hair i mean it kind of doesn't follow i mean and there was all these excuses Okay, because that's all this is. So this man is telling his story. Let's get into this article. An Illinois man alleges he was fired by Des Moines Company for not cutting his dreadlocks off. Days into training at a Des Moines-based trucking company, an Illinois man was allegedly fired for refusing to cut off his locks. And he even all, uh, offered alternatives, and we're, we're going to get into that. Fusion, uh, sadness. Uh, disappointment. Just a few words that describe how Drew Harvey of Chicago is feeling after being let go from Des Moines Trucking Company TMC Transportation a couple weeks ago. So why did he lose his job just two weeks into orientation? You've been doing a splendid job, but you're going to have to cut your hair by Friday or you're not going to be able to continue with the company. Harvey said his supervisor claimed per company policy, employees had to have short hair in order to wear hard hat during their shift. But Harvey showed us a photo of him wearing a hard hat with dreadlocks with no problems. And Harvey claims other employees at TMC had long hair, so he felt like he was being targeted. Did have hair just as long as me, if not longer. So I was wondering why I was being singled out. Harvey suggested he'd trim his dreadlocks, but his hair is important to him and his culture, he said part of the reason why he didn't want to have to cut it completely. And I believe that if he were a white man in the same exact position, I believe that he would have been treated differently. And that's that's the pity, and that's why he had to contact me. Harvey's attorney, Ben Lynch, filed a civil rights complaint against TMC Transportation, alleging discrimination and wrongful termination from his job. We need to make sure that other people are not treated the way that Drew was and um, left out to, you know, just th thrown away like garbage and sent home on a bus. Uh, after they quit their job and came to Iowa to try to start a new career. Now Harvey is left without a consistent paycheck and a job and instead a civil rights complaint that can cost a lot of time and money. I just don't get why. He since filed a civil rights complaint against the company for said discrimination. His name, Drew Harvey, 26 years old, of Crete, Illinois, came to Des Moines on June 23rd for training with TMC Transportation. Training started on June 24th. However, on the second day, he claims that he was wrongfully terminated for his hair. You only been in trainings for two days, not even, like a day and a half, and then they, they went and fired you. He said, I was one of the top performers. I was thinking my instructor might be giving me a bit of a praise for doing a good job. All right. He said, I was getting ready to walk into the classroom and he stopped me and said, you need to go talk to HR before stepping into the classroom. So this is, he only had one full day. Okay. 
And then the next day, he was going to HR, getting fired. Harvey, who was black, said that he was given an ultimatum. Either cut off his locks or he was going to be terminated. Ridiculous. Uh, he said, I was talking to the vice president of HR. He basically tells me you need to either buzz cut by Friday or you cannot work here at all. He has dreads and you want him to have nothing on his head, essentially. Harvey said he provided the company with alternatives such as trimming his hair or wrapping the locks so that they would conform to the company standard and fit into the hard hat employees had to wear. He claims the company was concerned that the hard hat would not fit properly, but he then provided a photo of his hair being wrapped up with the do-wrap and then the hard hat on top of it, and it showed that it in fact was able to fit. So, not sure what they were talking about. He said, I've seen multiple people of my skin color and different hair types conduct their job more efficiently with a hard hat adding his style actually secured the hard hat a bit tighter so go figure he said all right he said he didn't want to cut his hair because why it's culturally and emotionally significant to him and for me i'm going to add in why would you need to why do i need to go, go and cut my hair off to fit in this hard hat if, even if i prove to you that it could fit in the hard hat with my hair intact and not cut at all you want me to cut my hair because you just don't like the way my hair looks. That's a personal problem, okay? Just like you may not like my race, that's a personal problem. But I'm here to make this money, that has nothing to do with it, okay? He further added, being an African American and just understanding where my people are from, our hair is very deeply tied to our spirituality as well as our moral beliefs. I have not cut my hair since the day my father passed away four years ago. My dad would braid it up for me. So that's the thing. You're over here um, trying to vilify this man because he doesn't want to cut his hair. But it's just hair. What's the point of the Crown Act? That's what I don't get. Why do we have a Crown Act that was created in 2019 and it's supposed to ensure protection against discrimination based on race-based hairstyles? And you may say, okay, well, we got to go to a lawsuit and that's why we have to go to court. But why should we have to do that? That's the question. Why should we have to go to that length when y'all could just follow the rules? But let me know what you all think about said story down below.